What's up guys, my name is Khan, and we're back today with more Scrap Mechanic Co-op Survival. Today, we're building a boat. We are building a boat, sir. That's right, but before we get started, I'd like... I'd like to make a public service announcement. Okay. Can we all please go to change.org and start up a petition for getting a freaking mining helmet with a flashlight for this game? Oh! Oh, I thought you were going to talk about something political there. I was very concerned. I was like, no, am no, I going to no, no, edit no. this out we or We ain't not? doing that anymore, man. People get really upset. So we actually, we weren't even getting political and people thought we were getting political. Dude, I That's edit out like all the political getting. stuff. <laughs> so, uh, as you can see, um, yep. uh, there's, a, there's, a, yep, there's, a, there's a thing there's here. A very large uh, disappointment in front of us. Get it? Uh, Fairly large? Uh, is it is it a disappointment, though, or is it a massive success? Well, this but depends which way you look at it. I mean, if if your definition of success is disappointment, then I, I mean, suppose hold so. On, can it, does it balance? Oh, look at that. I don't think it does. Oh, <laughs> Dude, I, I don't think it does. So, yeah, so what happened is, uh, some people may have noticed in the last episode, uh, the bridge was bouncing. The bridge did some bouncy yeah. stuff. Um, turns out the ferry was causing, like, I don't know, 40 frame <laughs> drop give or take and just <laughs> sitting in the water i think with boats is a bad idea yep um so we're That's getting right. rid of the ferry yep because because it's kind of it's kind of bad uh and we're gonna Very make an bad. actual a proper boat a, a survival boat that's right a fast boat mm -hmm. hopefully, hopefully hopefully don't uh don't promise what we can't potentially deliver well, here <laughs> so we don't really have component kits for thrusters so cosmo what he's gonna do is he's gonna rip the thrusters off the helicopter just one, just one. One, yeah, we have one extra thruster. You might need to rip more off depending on how big this boat is and how fast it goes. Um, but the right. whole point of this boat is we're going to try and make a boat that's fast and can go around the outside of the map and grab all those islands with the little structures on it. Because if we can get yep. those, we think that'll be a faster way to get component kits. You know, you just whip to an island, grab the stuff, whip to the next island, grab the stuff, and, right. uh, you know, and fuel. And build more thrusters. Yeah, we need more thrusters, obviously. Um, fuel is the big thing, but we can just fill up the boat, have unlimited fuel right off the bat, no uh, and good deal. to go. Yep. So, while yeah. you decommission this and work on the boat, I am okay. going to go remove the uh, underground rail. Okay, sounds and good. And the dock on the other side. Beautiful. Um, Get her done. Yeah, because they need to go. This is a bit of a fail, but you know what? We tried, and now we know. It's so impractical, though. Know. Like... I, okay. Well, of course it is. It's cool to have a ferry and everything, but, like, we're not... If we lived on an island, it would make more sense. You know yes. what I mean? But we don't live on an island. We live on the no. mainland, so it makes no sense to have a ferry <laughs> that just goes, like, across a little lake that we could go around, you know? It's... it's Yeah, for sure. An island base would be cool to make sometime. Like, not in this world, yeah. but if, if there was yeah. a playthrough where you had an island base, that would be pretty cool. Well, I mean, somebody brought up a good point. We should just uh, start a chapter two series just for the sole purpose of getting more gold boxes <laughs> from That's the <true>. warehouses. <laughs> I mean, we still have like, what, six left on this one to do, so. Yep, yep, for sure. We still got a bunch of stuff to do in this world and. Yeah, we'll see. Chapter. I'm we'll excited see. for chapter two in 2035. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be great when it releases in 2042. Yep, I can't wait to play it in 2065. Oh man, uh, 2070 is going to be a lit year with Chapter 2 coming out. <laughs> you know, it's actually kind of funny. I get a lot of comments where people think I have some like weird inside scoop at Axelot. You know what I mean? Like they're like, oh, you play the game. Therefore, you well, must you know what Axelot's doing, right? And it's like, I like honestly have no... Like I get comments where people are like, hey, Con, can you ask Axelot to do this? And it's like... Guys, yeah, man. Not, like, like, sure. <laughs> Let me just tell them to release chapter two early. Hey, guys, just give us chapter two. We don't care. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I, I feel like I have as much pulling power with Axelot as literally anybody else on Twitter. Trying to fit this ferry into the elevator is a bit of a task. I removed the wood on this side. Did you now? Uh, I should have. How did that uh, go? Should have brought a Literal seat. Ball. Well, I don't know if there's there could be wood below the ground floating on the water here, and I won't know. So I gotta I gotta go get a seat and then come back I guess and check. You gotta get a seat. Yep. Yeah, I'm coming to get a seat and then I'm gonna check. Do it. This is one of those painful parts because I know when I edit this, I'm gonna edit from the time that I stop saying this sentence until like the seat comes, and the audience is like, "Wow, this is a short video." But then I have to sit here and do the painful like 10 minute swim across the lake each time. <laughs> ah, see, look, I knew it. What happened? There's a floater. There's a floater. Nice. Got it. Got the floater. 
Wow, this is this is extremely painful to do. Remove the rail? Yeah, it's like you could delete it on both ends and then put it on your lift and that would do nothing. Absolutely. Or you can sit here and like you literally can't delete it on your lift, so you're stuck here literally deleting it one section at a time. That's right. Oh man. Why do I sign up for stupid things like this? I'm having so much fun! Are you having fun? Fun? I mean, I've been removing bubble block for a good portion of this video so That's far. That's true, so. yeah. <laughs> the, whole, the whole beginning of this video is like, let's delete stuff. I mean, yeah. I guess it's all of Scrap Mechanic. Is, at least you could get... Like, can you imagine if you lost materials when you deleted oh, stuff man, in Scrap suck. Mechanic? That would suck so much. At least everything's 100% recyclable. That would... That's, oh, I ain't playing this anymore. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Oh, when you break down a block, it actually, like, tier 3 metal becomes tier 2 metal when you subtract it. It's like, nope. Nope. Bye. Bye. <laughs> gonna go play Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, thank you, but no, not happening. <laughs> Are you gonna time-lapse your boat build? Probably. I don't, uh, I usually, like, stutter when I build and try and talk, so I'm just not gonna bother. Did you, uh, did you include the time-lapse of the helicopter build in that video? I did. I did you did. get a bunch of people coming and saying, hey, cool, bro, nice time lapse? <laughs> I did. <laughs> oh, sick. Good. Oh, Are you gonna t so you're going to time lapse this one too, right? Yeah, I am. <laughs> All right, guys. The new phrase is... You what know what a to do. It's what a time lapse, not nice time lapse. What a time lapse. <laughs> maybe some exclamation points in there too. You know, maybe a smiley face emoji. You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> Or, or breathtaking time-lapse. That's another good one, too. Breathtaking. Right. IMAX quality time-lapse. National IMAX. Geographic time-lapse. We need to start converting this cracked stone into concrete, and it multiplies. So cracked stone, five cracked stone becomes ten concrete, right? With chemicals and water. Mm, so we'll have a ton of concrete if we multiply all this cracked stone to build, like, parking platforms and expand the dock out and such. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Like, literally get, like, 6,000... I get people flat up hating me for not, they're like, why don't you have a parking platform? You're such an idiot. Ugh. Stop welding your vehicle. And I'm like, bro, like, chill out, dude. And he's like, no, you can't. <laughs> then I, I swear, like, I, there's there's people who are so mad that we haven't made a parking platform yet. So it's all good, guys. It'll be fine. It'll be okay. I don't know, man. Someone's had a stroke because of it. I can I can feel it. <laughs> I'm gonna go get some shells because I'm just feeling an itch for some shells. You know, I've got that. Need some of that glue. You know what I mean? Here we go again. <laughs> I thought we got your help for that. Uh, yeah, but it's been like a couple weeks, months. <laughs> Felt like I was I should to get some more glue, you know. Been a bit. Gl the glue supply ran out. Need more glue. Right. <laughs> hey man, turn shells into glue. I don't. I don't write the rules. That's just how it is. <laughs> Need glue for chests. Once we have chests, we can um. Do chesty things. That's right. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just, I'm literally just trying to focus on getting shells here at this point. Do it. I'm going to keep time lapsing. All right, well, it's nighttime, so this is going to be fun. Just going to get shells and component kits, and uh, I guess I'll check on your progress in the morning. I'm okay. Alrighty then. Let's do a poll right now before nighttime comes. Will Cosmo's boat float? On the first attempt. Well, no, no, that's that's a bad way. It will definitely float because you're making it out of floating materials. Will it float upright and drive on the first attempt or are we going to have to make changes? Vote, vote now. Vote yes, it will float or no, it won't. <laughs> All right, well, I'm on the hunt for component kits again. It seems like every episode I'm hunting component kits. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, but we'll need component kits to get chests and then, you know, everybody always needs chests. That's right. Chests are one of the big things that you need, but again, if component kits were tradable, it would be really easy. Yeah. You know, we would just really go to the trader with a, like, a huge amount of component kits and be done. They really should bring that back. Yeah. Don't understand why is they this took Haybot that out. Is Haybot stuck but... in the wall? Oh my god, he is. <laughs> wow! Oh no, now he's popped out. Dang it. There was a Haybot, <laughs> literally, he was like stuck in the wall. He couldn't get out of the wall. Oh yeah. Refining Haybot arms or necks or whatever they are, spines. I think they're spine. arms. I think that I, I think it was determined they are in fact arms. I don't know. It looks like it could be its spine, man. You just yank its spine out, scrape it with your laser-powered potato peeler. Right. 
get all the bone marrow out. Yeah, I mean, that's marrow. what it, it's literally a laser powered potato peeler. I mean, I don't <laughs> seriously. That's what it is. It's like the most powerful thing you have in all of scrap mechanic. That's the other thing scrap mechanic needs is like to be able to upgrade all those tools. Yeah, to not have a lasered power potato peeler. Because like whether you like it or not, you're still using the laser powered potato peeler all the way throughout your gameplay. No matter yeah. how advanced you are in your world, you're still using the laser powered potato peelers. So yeah, it's it and you're still using like the original hammer and stuff. And yeah, yeah, I'd love to see hammer with well. But you know when they originally released Scrap Mechanic, the spud gun was supposed to be a moddable weapon, right? Hmm. Like, that was their original intent was, oh, I'm probably dead. No, I'm not. I'm good. <laughs> but yeah, their original intent, like, they had, like, blueprints and stuff, and, like, the idea was that you could, like, customize the sight, the barrel, the, the, you know, the, um, what's it called? The stock, you know. They even showed a potato sniper, spud sniper. Really? That's cool. And like these are like really old dev blogs. Or I'm crazy and I had this crazy dream about scrap mechanic having moddable weapons, but I'm pretty sure someone <laughs> in the comments will confirm that like that was a thing in a dev blog a while ago. Just like the exosuit. You're supposed to be able to build an exosuit to make your character like jump, you know, further and move faster and right. all that nonsense, and that never happened. Uh I can actually upgrade the Oh, it's twenty component kits to upgrade at the final stage. Are you kidding me, yeah, game? Man. We found this out last time. I, d I don't remember, dude. What do you do in between episodes? Do you like. We go take to like a three br day break between episodes, man. Wow, a whole three day break, guys. You know, I, I. Okay, listen, Cosmo, he's just pretending like he doesn't. He remembers this stuff. Really, he's got printouts all over it. his office walls of all the scrap <laughs> mechanic materials, every block, you know how much it costs. And he's like, bro, I'm such an expert. Look at me and all my, all my Wikipedia <laughs> readouts. <laughs> I'm like that meme with the, what's, uh, yeah. no, not Parks and Rec. It's always sunny. I don't remember. The guy but... with the strings and stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like Cosmo trying to figure out the component kit cost for something. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well. I'm going to, I'm going to kill you, Haybot. I'm going to, you wait, wait until I finish refining this. Okay. Now you're dead. I'm literally trying to loot this building, mm -hmm. and I've killed like five Haybots so far, and every time I kill more, more show up, because they're all just coming down from the building <laughs> to fight me. <laughs> Which I guess is great. You know what else I'd like to see in Scrap Mechanic? Which it's they sad. don't have, as I'm as I'm up top of this building. Uh, parachute. Little, little parachute. Yeah, somebody was uh, mentioning in my comments uh, in the late latest video how I need a parachute. <laughs> a parachute would be great. Like, honestly, I feel like it wouldn't ruin the game mechanic at all. You get a parachute that you can build. You know, you have to, like, reload it, I guess, with, like, you know, whatever. Just mash E to pack it up. Like, yeah, or something. You have to repack it or whatever, or you have to hold E to do it. Or But it would be nice to be able to, because a lot of these buildings you loot, and then you're like, okay, I'm at the top. Like, now what? And then, you know, being able to jump with a parachute would be great. I just thought of a really savage thing. What's that? There was a Haybot. I shot a Haybot and his arm, like, you know, the, the broken arm of it, like, flew off or whatever. And it was blocking another Haybot. Right. We need to make a car that uses Haybot arms to beat down Haybots. Interesting. Pretty savage, actually. That's what I said. It was. It would be savage, but, you know. All right, Cosmo. Yup. I hear you have a boat. I got a boat. It's very boaty. I like this. Very lots of chests, <laughs> lots of fuel. Mm -hmm. Um, passenger so driver's seat. Yeet ourselves off and see if it works. Yeah, I'm gonna grab whatever fuel we got up here. You can. Yeet. You got the boat with you? I got the boat. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. I mean, the first thing is gonna be to, make sure uh, it floats. Yep. Where are you at? Oh, well, I'm. I thought we had fuel in one of these chests. Twelve fuel. Oh, there we go. Some more gas. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be running on like twelve gas until I can swing by the station. I gotta all go right, to the station. Split it up between all three fuel containers. Yeah. All right. Let's see. All right. Let's see if this thing floats up. It's gonna float well, floating up. Floating up. Front it's heavy first. On. That's fine. Because all the thrusters Pretty and good. chests are at the back. The question is, does Pretty it good. float onto the surface? Pretty oh yeah. Good man. It's a little low I mean, in the back. 
speed speedboats typically sit that low in the back anyway because once they you know get up on plane they're higher yeah unfortunately but... with scrap mechanic i don't think we're going to be doing oh. the whole getting up on plane steering works that's good um oh the seat's not hooked up to the <laughs> yeah i'm working on that don't worry about it sweet do you have a reverse switch yeah i do check it out Beep. all right perfect so try going forward then Oh, yeah, we should probably turn these up. That would help. <laughs> all right, let's crank them to, crank them to max. Oh, They're all max? Yeah, okay. This, this is good. Give her. I mean... It's, it's not bad. Boat. It's pretty slow <laughs> still. Is one of them even working? One of them doesn't look like it's even working. Yeah, one of them's not even hooked up to fuel. Or no, one of them's not hooked up to, uh, to the seat. Oh. I was like, only two thrusters are on. Oh, well, hold on. <laughs> there we go. All right, try it again. There you okay, go. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now we're moving. Yeah, we're I going. Mean, I mean, it, it works. It moves pretty quick. I feel like we should put um, a little bit more bubble block underneath. Yep. And maybe some concrete on your side because it's listing to the left. Yeah, I noticed that too. Because of the weight of the driver's seat. I think so. The yeah, the, the weight of one seat, seat to the other. So... That's good, though. Either that or it's the weight of the horn to the light at the front. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. So you were saying we need more bubble block? Why? I think so. To make it float higher. Why? Higher it floats, less drag, faster boat. Why? But yeah, I'll get some gas and then we can try the boat. And you can paint it, too. But I think if we float it a little higher, we'll go a little bit better. Agreed. Then we should see how Alrighty. far we can get on a single set of gas tanks. For sure. Yeah, I'd be curious to see. How's the boat doing, dude? Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be, uh, you know, it's gonna be a scrap mechanic, a scrap mechanic style boat, okay? Right, right. In, in the sense that it looks like a real boat, but in order to make it work with scrap mechanic, I'm kind of building these, like, underwater bubble block pontoons that you can't really see. Oh, jeez. Um, and it's just so that oh, it floats boy. higher, because, like, I... basically... We decided. I'll pretend I didn't show that part in the video. <laughs> well, we yeah, we we, we kind of decided to go screw it and put all five thrusters on it. Oh yeah, and, we did that. And we then did yeah, that. And we're thrusters. gonna just grind more components. Um, I guess so. Because we have nothing better to do. I mean, and, this boat's basically experiencing the same issues that my survival boat experienced. Yeah, water that's... drag sucks. Like it really yeah. does. Um, yeah. And the best boat in scrap mechanic is honestly just something that's super flat and made of bubble block. If these pontoons don't help that much, I'm ripping them off because they're horrendous. It you know, that is faster. Doesn't make a difference. What do you mean it doesn't make a difference? Clearly faster. Clearly not. This is like as fast as it went with okay, three thrusters, Okay, hold on, hold on. Guy. Stop, 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 <laughs> stop. Let me remove the pontoons. Hold on. Honestly, we should have just built a giant flat bubble block slab i don't know why we didn't do that i, mean, I guess but so we, sh we should have just built a slab i don't know why we're trying to make it look like a boat we should have just been screw it big slab bubble block done right fastest boat ever <laughs> and then there's all there's gonna be a ton of comments too where people are like guys you should have built a paddle boat like with the paddles you know um which Maybe we obviously we <laughs> we didn't do i've done it before it's all, all right. right there's apparently a new way to make paddles that's super fast really oh, okay i didn't that's know what, that. that's what icebound glacian was saying he's like he's got he just figures out cool ways to do stupid stuff this is actually the same speed isn't it it's basically the same speed dude okay hold on hold on let me try something let's just do some more experimenting here what if i okay. reduce all the thrusters except for the three in the middle so the two outside ones are on on nothing well it's definitely slower not like it's not that much slower but it's like yeah but it's really not that much slower that's the worst part is it's like do you do you put five on it just because but like okay hold on like what's the difference between three and one one's gonna be a pain right like of course it's gotta be one okay one <laughs> is pathetic yeah hold on i'm just i'm just proving to people that i know how to make a really good boat in scrap in scrap mechanic um Just four pads of bubble block yeah so this is like gonna be the fastest boat of all th uh oh we don't have enough bubble block in the back hold on so you make <laughs> we see you make the back pads slightly larger you see you still right. want them flat though you don't want them too deep because if it's too it's more in the water like more drag you just want it like this right. like big i feel like that just makes it sink boats in this game are uh <laughs> oh there we go 
Hold on. Definitely Give it a minute. Give it a minute. Desired. There we go. It just needs to get out of the water. Right. See, once it's out, it's 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 because like blocks in water have different drag than blocks out. That's why the whole paddle thing with like concrete. I mean, it's basically free... a hydrofoil at this point. Yeah, but you know what? This is look at this. This is gonna be yeah, this is gonna be as fast as we can get. It. Okay, nothing is in the water okay. except these pads. Let's give are her. The, are all thrusters hooked up? Yeah, they should be. They're all maxed, right? Yeah. So realistically, so this is fast. this is our Much max fast. speed, bro. <laughs> this is as fast as we could go. Oh my goodness. So this is but really this is, this is like all... not even that much faster than just not having those things. No, it honestly feels like it's faster just to fly at this point. It it's definitely faster without these. I'm, yeah. I think these are actually adding like more weight or something. I don't know. I I yeah. It's it's interesting. Okay. Well, you know, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, it's having a hard time turning. <laughs> well, yeah, now it's going to be impossible. Hold on, let's remove the pontoons then. Okay. Well, I guess, you know, it's a good boat. Walk. We could we could paint the boat up. We'll use it as yep. a boat. Yep. You know, um, let you us know what you guys think in the, the comments down below. On there? Oh my god, look at this. Look at that piece floating. Wow, nice. Yeah. Would you still want to keep the five thrusters then, or? I mean... Oh my god. Okay. I, uh, <laughs> What's going on? It's like bouncing up and down in the water. <laughs> bro, check out my trampoline, bro. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Don't worry, it'll stop eventually. Remember in eventually. engineering when we were learning about like um, error Laws in systems? Of conservation of energy. Yeah, and <laughs> robotic systems error. And like if you overshoot it and then you undershoot it and then you overshoot it, that's exactly what this is doing. <laughs> it's amazing. It'll never stop. We just created perpetual motion. Heck yeah. Now just get a bunch of those and... I have an idea. What if I do this? Elevate yourself. Oh no. That Ooh. was bad. That was a bad idea. Um, yeah, I mean, I, you know, it's up to you. If you want to go down to three thrusters, I'd be okay with that. If you want to keep it at five to just get, you know, literally Let's as max speed... keep it at five. Who as, cares? Yeah. I mean, I think eventually what we do is we just go absolutely crazy and upgrade it to like nine. And then maybe it'll go fast. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Or we just do modded thrusters. <laughs> or we just do modded thrusters. But even then, I, we don't have a modded survival, so... No, we don't. You know what You know what people are going to say in the comments, right? Hmm. You should make a, a, a paddle boat. That's what everyone's going to say. Yeah. Everyone's going to tell us to make a I paddle boat. I mean, we can boat. add paddles to the size of it and see what that does, but... Well, you got to make, like, basically a paddle boat. It's got to be, like, all bubble block with then, like, uh, some concrete three paddles. And right. I, I don't know the exact... It basically relies on heavy paddles, light boat, is I think the the rule gotcha. of thumb. And then you have to, like, paddle the paddles with, like, suspension glitches spinning really fast, and it's just a nightmare. Fair enough. Either way, let's t let's go out to the ocean, man. We got we got some gas, right? Sounds good. I think. Do we yeah, have... we got a ton of gas. You do? Oh, yeah, we got a ton. Okay, perfect. Is it this way? Is ocean this way? Yeah, we just gotta go here. Um, and then just walk it across the desert. Walk it across. Turn right. Turn right. Yeah. We oh, go right. Okay. Right over there. Yeah. You know, this isn't bad. This isn't no. bad. No. No. I really should paint it, though. You should paint it, but that's, that's you know, that's fine. It only needs to be painted for a thumbnail. Let's be real. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. Time to do the great Wait. boat trek. Yep. Just, just, I'm just gonna chill. stay in the seat, <laughs> sir. <laughs> See, this is this is where we need a, a little like monorail that brings the boat over the water or over the land from water to water back in the water whoa alrighty that works I have uh, one one thing I want to try what's up you want to raise them up a little bit I'm just curious if I give them like oh no, yeah. not, not that way the other way I've uh, I've tried that in all right my own what does that do and nothing it just plows the bottom in more okay well yeah. that's that's useful if anything, it needs to be slightly down to lift the rear up. Right, right. Yeah, that's what I... Okay, so let's try that. It's like, like, yeah, like two degrees down. Maybe a little too much, but yeah, a little... Uh, yeah, a little too much. That's okay. Yeah, I was just trying it at the extremes to see what it would be. I'll, I'll lower it. I'll reduce it. Let's do like five yeah. or something. Yeah, like five degrees. This that is 15. Good. That's why I was just curious as to what it would do. There we go. Fair enough. There we go. Now it lifts the rear end out a little bit and we're good. Yeah, I think that helps get you a little bit more speed. All right, perfect. Right. Well, let's just go check out some islands then, I guess, until we run out of gas. It looks good. <laughs> it looks all right. Looks really the boat, good, the boat yeah. looks good. I mean, it is unfortunate we're going to burn a lot of fuel with this. Um, yeah, quite a bit of fuel. 
Yeah, it's not going to be very efficient. Like, I'm thinking it's going to... This is going to burn more fuel than the helicopter. Yes. Right? And it's not moving as fast. So the only no. advantage we have with this compared to the helicopter is two extra crates. Well, that and, like, the helicopter has to go up and down, up and down, and that takes fuel, so... Right, you know, it's just... This we're just stop. In, yeah, we're moving in one dimension here. That's true. Well, two dimensions, Sorry, two but dimensions, yeah. two dimensions, I guess. Yeah, I mean, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Should we keep the boat? Should we change the boat? I, I'm like, if people say yep. just paddle boat, you know, you're right, but I don't really want to make a paddle boat in this world. Yeah, um, neither do I. I'd prefer to make something that's like, you know, consumes fuel but is more efficient at it. Yeah, um, because we have a ton of fuel, right? So yeah, it's just a matter of stocking up on gas before you leave. That's the thing. Exactly. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Ooh, I found a green box, bro. Nice green holding box. Excellent. Look at that. But yeah, let us know. Um, obviously, we're going to have to make a lock system. I do want to keep the boat. I think looting these islands like we're doing now is way faster if we have a good boat to get between yes, them. I think so. Uh, have you been here already or something? No. Why? I was probably here already. Did you swim out into the ocean? We're in the ocean right now. You know that, right? Yeah, I know. I think I, I think when we had our component kit base, I swam out here. You swam out here? Oh, okay. Cool. <laughs> I mean, whatever floats your boat, I guess. Ah, I see what you did there. But yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comments down below. Give us other ideas for things to try in uh, survival, and we'll yep. see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye.